honestly, I was afraid for my life. It was, it was, you couldn't see out here. You were blinded by the storm. Three men get trapped aboard a Newark fireboat for two days. Tonight, the story of how Sandy's curse turned out to be their blessing. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. I'm Brian Jenkins. And I'm Della Cruz. The boat was in the Newark Bay to ride out the storm, but as News 12 New Jersey's Newark reporter Rick Holmes found out, the decision to put a crew on the boat was a tough call. It's a story you'll see only on News 12. We never had a storm like this. Uh, this was unique. The three-man crew of the Newarker remembers a harrowing 48-hour shift aboard the 52-foot fireboat. With Superstorm Sandy churning toward New Jersey, fire officials knew they had a problem. We have a floating dock and uh, they did some calculations that the water was going to have such a surge where the dock was going to come off. Department leaders made the decision to moor the boat next to a barge at the Don John Docking Company. The safety was a, was a major concern, especially when you're dealing with, with a hurricane um, and on the water. By 11 o'clock that first night, Newark Bay was churning and the Newark Channel had turned into a river. And then the fire started. It felt like it was nonstop. We seen we called in how many fires, Captain? Five. About five fires within six hours. At the height of the surge, the Newarker went into action when two dozen cars caught fire at Port Newark. We piloted the boat up, we nosed into the pier, and uh, we actually supplied water to the land companies. The crew fought fires all night and into the next day. They returned to find their floating dock had been destroyed. No, it was rough. I'm, I'm, it sounded like a, a freight train all night long overhead. The decision to move had been the right one. And the decision to keep a crew on the Newarker saved the fireboat and ultimately kept more property from being destroyed. In Newark Bay, Rick Holmes, News 12, New Jersey. That fireboat, the Newarker, was purchased for $750,000 nine years ago using Homeland Security funds. And we saw a few folks out there today, kids with 